I am not sending emails to everyone that the recording of the lecture is available on Moodle. It is understood that soon after we end the session, a recording of this session will go on Moodle. Uh, and usually I, I put recordings there with the dates. So last time when I recorded, when I uploaded the lecture, it is available on Moodle uh, with the title recorded lecture hyphen March 15th. Similarly, today's recorded lecture you will find on Moodle with the same name recorded lecture hyphen March 17th. So this week we are talking about communication models and intro and you will find all the recorded lectures um, with the same title. Well, when you go to Moodle, you will find a link, communication models in parenthesis and intro, and you can find all uh, recorded lectures there. All right. Let's get started. I'm also going to share my screen with you. Can you all see my screen now? Is my screen visible to you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Good. All right. Let's yeah. get to a quick revision of what we did last time, what we discussed last time, and from there I will continue. So we first we talked about what is a model. I told you that a model is a graphic representation of something. It may come in the form of a sketch. It may come in the form of a diagram or an equation or anything. Uh, and what it does is it simplifies things for us. Then we started our discussion about different functions of model. We said that models organize information. How, how do they organize information? They put things in order for us. Okay, now I'm going to show you my notebook. Here I have made a sketch of information, a, 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 model, of info, uh, a model of the process that is happening right now. You see, I have in this box, I have written sender, who, which is me. In this box, I have written medium. The medium that I am using right now is technology, my laptop and internet. And then in this box right here, I have written receiver. You see, all of you are receivers. So, okay. Now, don't you think that by designing this model, by drawing this model, what I'm doing is I am putting things in order. Not only this, whatever things that, whatever elements we see here in this model that I just showed you, we see three elements. There is a sender, there is a medium, and then there is a receiver. So this model that I just showed you, don't you think it shows the connection between all elements? It shows the connection between, between all components that are involved in process. And with that, it also simplifies things. So if now consider two situations, situation A and situation B. In situation A, I give you an information in the, P, in the form of a paragraph. I'll repeat, I am giving you two situations. I am asking you to analyze two situations, situation A and situation B. In situation A, I am going to give you a piece of information that comes in the form of a paragraph. In situation B, you receive information that comes in the form of an equation, a diagram, or a graphical representation, let's say a model. What do you think? Which situation is more understandable or easier to understand for you? Situation A or situation B? Situation B, the model one. Yes, situation A. And why is that? Can, it, can anyone answer? Um, why is situation that? A, the diagram one, supposed to be? Yes, that which is situation A. So you are saying that situation A is easier to understand. I am asking why is that? Ma'am, because we learn things that we see as a faster sp uh, pace as compared to the things that we have to learn through paragraph form. Good job, Fatma. Things are easier to learn uh, that way because you kind of get highlights. Same is the case with the PowerPoint presentation that you are seeing right now. 
if instead of putting bullets highlights if i put long paragraphs for you they would be little harder for you to understand right so this is this is just human nature we tend to understand things better when they come to us in the form of models for so here lies the reason the rationale to to learn uh, models let's talk about our second slide this we discussed this last time what do models do they explain things by providing simple information models have heuristic function i told you that by heuristic i mean like the meaning of heuristic is to let others learn by themselves this is what we mean by heuristic so models actually give us a, a chance they provide us an opportunity whereby we can learn things on our own give me a minute <coughs> excuse me and then models provide key elements of a process they make things they make they let us predict what is going to be the outcome let's move on to wait a minute all right let's talk about different types of models these are different types of models that we will be discussing in this class models can be of three types there can be models related to structure the models that explain the structure of a process structure of a phenomena there can be functional models which means there can be models that tell us how certain how media functions how propaganda works like in in propaganda model for example you are learning what is the function of propaganda how it occurs and what is the process and then directional models directional models are the kind of models that tell us the direction of an information where the what is the flow of communication like two step flow model and then one step flow model two step flow model of communication says that the process of communication actually happens in two steps so we will talk about all of that again in our coming classes very soon and then things become will become easier for you to understand okay let's talk about misuses of models without looking at what i what information i have on my screen can you tell me can anyone talk about this idea very briefly that what can be different misuses of models can people misuse models okay before we start discussing this let me ask you a general question uh hubab i'll take your comment in a minute a general question uh the models that you read in your books you may have read many models so far or let's say the theories that you read in political science in psychology in physics how how are those theories proposed how are these books published what is the process for that Hubab, you wanted to say something. Please go ahead. Um, I was about to say that the misuses of models can be in a way that any everyone pretend uh, interprets the meaning of model differently. So we are not uh, sure if they are going to interpret it the same meaning that we are trying to deliver. Yeah, I think that's a really reasonable uh, argument that people's interpretations can be subjective. and each of us can have a different different interpretation i think that, that that's quite reasonable good job hubab there is someone in the waiting room let them let let me allow them to enter all right let me tell you very briefly how how actually information gets to us in the form of books the information that we receive in books how 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 it gets to us so for example i am a scholar and i study communications and i teach communications and whenever i come across a problem i come across a situation that i feel like warrants investigation that should be investigated or 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 studied so what i do is i i i conduct a research and then i want scholars feedback on my research i take it to a conference 
why do scholars go to conference of course they do not go to conferences just to hang out with friends or to do sightseeing they go to conferences because they they go there to share their research works to talk about scholarly ideas to discuss discuss uh, scholarly concepts and also to get feedback on their on their concepts or I'm sorry on their research work let's say i studied something let's say i i feel like that pakistani media is doing propaganda about about um okay let's say i i i i do a research that pakistan that addresses the question that pakistani media is engaged in propaganda against transgender people i am only imagining a situation so my my research question is that pakistani media is involved in doing a propaganda against transgender community in pakistan okay i i collect my findings i write a paper and i take it to conference and i i take it to a conference and i present my work there different scholars from my field also come to the to that conference and they give me feedback they give me feedback okay how i can improve my work or my work really seems good and from there i i actually sit and write a paper on it later on i get my paper published or later on i can transform that paper into the form of a book so i publish a book that says that the different kinds of propaganda or different prospects of propaganda related to transgender community in pakistan this is how books are published this is how scholarly information is produced the books that we study the books that get to us they have been through the same process first scholars come up with an idea they do their investigation they do their research on that topic then they present their papers to conferences from conferences they take their work to publication which means books are published and then we tend to read those books and then we read models in 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 different in 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 our books as well and here i'm going to talk about misuses of models the first misuse that comes in my mind i'm not going to read from the screen the first misuse that comes to my mind is that sometimes models narrow the scope of our understanding so i showed you this picture before we began i showed you this picture and i said this is a model that i have drawn which is related to the process of communication which is happening right now and this model shows that the process which is happening right now has only three components sender medium and receiver however it kind of narrows our understanding in a way that it doesn't let us think about some other components that may be involved in this process for example the element of noise for example i am giving this lecture and there is a person in the background who is mowing his lawn and you can and you you hear noise and because of that noise you have trouble listening to me clearly or for example your internet is bad so uh, and uh, the trans uh, the message that you are receiving my voice is breaking up or my my video is not clear or what i am showing you for example if i was showing you this what i am showing you is not clear to you all of this is noise so what is noise noise is barrier any sort of barrier that hinders or that impedes the flow of communication will be noise now what i am saying is that sometimes models they narrow our understanding they narrow our scope of understanding we tend to focus only on the components that are given within the model but we do not think about some other components that should be involved in there so that is one misuse of model uh, we can discuss now about noise i just gave you the uh, a new concept which is noise and i said that any barrier that interferes with proper flow of information is called noise um uh, okay if for example you are taking this you are listening to me on this lecture and a thought comes in your mind that the lecture seems boring and 
why am I here in this class right now? Instead, I should have been eating my breakfast or I should go maybe, um, um, or maybe I'm, I'll pretend that uh, I'll, I'll stay in front of screen and I'll pre pretend that I'm listening to teacher, but side by side, you have your Netflix on and you are watching a movie, that is also noise. Anything that is interfering with the flow of communication is, is noise. If you are sitting in your class, in, in face to face class setting, you are in class, you are apparently listening to teacher, but with that, you're also thinking that teacher's lecture seems very boring. Instead, maybe I should go out and have a cup of tea with my friends. That is also noise. Now with that, I would like to ask you, that is the concept of, uh, is the concept of noise clear to everyone? Does anyone have yes, a question about noise? Uh, yes, ma'am. Good. Good. Can I proceed? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yep. Let's see what we have here. Sometimes models tend to trap their originators or their users within limited confines. This is the same thing, that they limit our scope of thinking. This is the same thing that I was just explaining, that we tend to focus only on the components that are given to us, and we do not really pay attention to some more components that may be involved in the process. So uh, users or originators may become defensive Although this does not happen in the field of communication, this hasn't happened in the field of communication thus far, but this may happen. A model may perpetuate. What is the meaning of perpetuate? What does perpetuation mean? What is perpetuation? Aftab Jahanze, Fatima, come on. Abdullah. Salman, Kamal, Heather. Perpetuation means to continue. A model, said to yeah, a model may continue some initial assumptions about a process in one direction. One directional model of communication here is an example. I'll talk more about it. Let's begin with our discussion of model from next class. And about misuses of model is something that we'll come back to. I mean, I mean since you we haven't begun our discussion on models this is something that again we will be doing uh, soon after we have uh, discussed or learned a couple of models in the class the researcher or scholar should be careful about the use of a particular model the reader of model should also be wary of particular circumstances or cases well in a way all of these bullets in this slide are saying that models tend to limit the scope of our thinking however we should i mean i i i, I keep giving you the example of the model that i drew in my notebook and i tell you that uh, the the model that i showed you has only three elements but there can be more but that is how models kind of tend to limit our thinking. We tend to confine our thinking only within the components that are given in a model. However, there can be some more components involved in the process. And this is one shortcoming of model that is do not let us broaden our thinking related to components that will be involved, if that all makes sense. We already discussed this last in last class that communication is a complex process and it has all these components, a sender, a channel, a receiver, a message, a relationship between sender and receiver, a context in which information was transmitted and an intention. I mean, sometimes there cannot be intention. However, in case of advertisements, there is always an intention. And what is that in intention? Advertiser wants to sell his product. Advertiser wants to, wants us consumers, audience to buy his product. So there can be an intention in a communication process, but that is always not necessary. All right. Okay. 
and then there are some more features that are involved in this process there is an, an there is encoding and decoding happening and then, then there is feedback as well uh, this is a definition of mass communication i know um, i assume that by now you all are familiar with mass communication is however this is the definition that i got from this book and i have shared it with you to me mass communication is a process where we communicate with masses the kind of communication which i am doing with you all right now is that mass communication am i doing mass communication right now yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am who says yes and yes. why tell me the reason मैम बिकॉज एक ही टाइम पे आप ज्यादा लोगों से बात कर रही हैं तो ऐसा ही है एक लोगों का मैच कम्युनिकेशन होगा ओके सो आर यू ऑल आई मीन दिस दिस एग्जांपल राइट नाउ सिंस आई एम यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इट मे बी कंसीडर्ड मैच कम्युनिकेशन बिकॉज ऑफ ओनली माय यूज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बट हैड आई बीन डूइंग द सेम क्लास इन फेस टू फेस सेटिंग this is not then mass communication because first of all i am not communicating with masses i am communicating with a group of with a just this group m com 310 similarly in order to do mass communication i need mass media which means tv which means radio which means newspaper which means maybe internet so if I, if i am doing this class in face to face setting it is not mass communication however if we if we use social media facebook that is mass communication because you may have a list of 400 500 friends on facebook or you may be following a page uh, uh, on um, uh, on facebook which is followed by several thousand people and if you write something that is meant for masses if that makes sense okay now with that i'm going to assign you a homework for next class for our class on friday and i would like you to note it down accurately i'm going to stop sharing my screen i i would like to repeat the information that i already uh, uploaded recorded lecture for march 15 on moodle okay i i will again upload this lecture soon after it is finished so i need not to send email after every lecture that i have uploaded lecture you will always always find a recorded recording of the lecture uh, on moodle soon after the class ends let me give you homework uh all right i have wrote a statement for you that is your homework <coughs> for your class on friday any questions about this this is just one page homework what i am asking you to do is draw a model of communication in a classroom setting okay by uh, by this homework what i mean is take a piece take a piece of paper and draw i mean just draw figures uh, imaginary figures if this is teacher and then boxes for students and then draw arrows for flow of communication you can draw arrows from teacher to student but also sometimes students comment they ask questions they also reflect so arrows should be going from students to teacher as well and then there is a white board that you should draw teacher that is the medium visual medium that teacher uses for uh, uh, communication then what can be the noise i think um, if i were you i would draw the entrance door Uh, sometimes some students are late when they enter the room they, that kind of creates a distraction 
sometimes that breaks the flow of lecture for teachers sometimes that also creates a distraction for students as well so that is how that door may work as a noise or maybe sometimes students phone if if their cell phone rings in class that is also noise so whatever comes be creative with it so so i will say be creative with this home homework and draw a model that entails all Okay, any question? Any question about the homework? Excuse me, ma'am. Could you please provide us with a sample if it's possible? I can I can I I just gave you the example and I I usually do this activity at the end at the beginning of every semester whenever i am teaching this course this is very simple uh, i unfortunately i do not have a sample with me right now you can be creative so uh, you do not have to bring a typewritten copy even you can use your paper and pen to to draw one if that makes sense like i said i do not have a sample with me right now had i one i should have shared i could have shared it with you but uh, i do not ma'am how do we show it to you like you just show it in class you can send it to me in email and i can pull it up and i can uh, you can send it to me in email um, a day before class or maybe during the class i can I prefer if you send it to me a day before the class so can i I mean, if I'm going to ask anyone a question, I can put his or her model on the screen, and I can hit this uh, screen sharing button to share with everyone. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Can I make a WhatsApp group for the students, and I can send in the link. So, if you want to join, you can do it. Too. I I would like any one of you to take a lead on that. I am I my, yeah. I am myself not very active on WhatsApp. Uh, uh for some reason i know it's a very popular medium uh, especially among students and in many pakistanis but i do not use whatsapp a lot but if you if you feel like you you are comfortable with it yeah you can go ahead and create one so this yes, ma'am a whatsapp group could be helpful because uh, it's way easier to communicate there do you want one yes ma'am Okay, uh, Fatma was saying that she can create one. <coughs> Excuse me, Fatima. Can I speak with you? Okay, Fatima. What you can do is you can create a group and send me the link. When I receive your link in the email, I'll send it to everyone. That here is the link that everyone can join to be a part of WhatsApp group. But I'll not okay. be a part of WhatsApp group. I'll 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 be connected with you, Fatima, and you can work as an intermediary between me and students in that way. Is that okay for you? Yes, ma'am. Totally fine. Ma All right. Thank you. Now I'll I'm gonna go do your uh, attendance. <laughs>